marvelous day I don't know what day it is as you guys know that's just how I do but anyway hope all is well I hope everything is fine with everyone I hope your day is going well and great if not I'm sure things will get better I'm sorry for the bad lighting guys I mean, as you can see I got the light on but that's why I'm trying to hurry up and invest in my channel. As you know, I already got my tripod. I'm going to get a little range light for my iPhone. And the tripod mount cell phone thing for my phone. So, yeah. Drinking coffee. Anyway. Hi, guys. Today's video is about... People need to grow up and stop being so petty. Okay, I understand that <clears throat> everybody had their days when they want to be petty or do petty things to people. But I just feel you need to just work towards to not do that, be the bigger person. Learn how to walk away from situations. And when you feel that the situation is going to go bad. Um, argue about it or say something. Just because the person said something to you. And like I said before. I did a video a few weeks back. Yeah. About how far I came as a person. Because me back in the day baby. 10 years ago, me, the old me, I always used to fight at a drop of a dime or say, my favorite thing was to say, you think I'm going to let you say that to me? I'm not going to let you talk to me like that. You can't talk to me like that. I will never let you disrespect me like that. Now, however, be cordial with people. Respect people. They don't have to like you, but they have to respect you. No tolerance for disrespect. But what I'm saying is, you don't have to say something every time somebody says something to you. You don't have to argue every time somebody argues with you. You don't have to cause drama because they want to cause drama. You know what I found out? When you don't argue back with a person and you don't feed into what they do or what they have to say, y'all, it makes them mad. It pisses them off even more. It pisses them off even more. It really does. And I'm not even making this up. Because they feel that they want to get a reaction out of you. And when they can't, they get mad and they make them more mad to want to try to go to the extreme and try to do something else. I feel just ignore the situation, walk away, laugh about it. However, if they put their hands on you, then you have every right to rock their ass because they had no business putting their hands on you. Now, I can take you talking about me because I don't care. When you put your hands on me, it's a different story. And I hate this thing that goes around now that feel, people feel like, oh, um, that she ain't saying nothing to me. She's scared of me. No, it's called being a bigger person. It doesn't make you scared of them because you won't argue with them. It's called growing up. You should try it. But not y'all in per se, but I'm just saying people that say that. Grow up. Grow the fuck up. It's not that deep. It's not the end of the world. And trust me, when you start ignoring people and you don't let stuff get to you, trust me, you will be more, more happy and stress-free. You will. I have a prime example of how much I don't care about what a person say to me. I was going to the store for my mom. This was like 2006. My mom asked me to go to the store for her. Excuse me, y'all. My mom asked me to go to the store for her. 
to get a Pepsi, some type of drink. So I'm like, okay, mom. So I walk to the gas station around my house, not too far from my house. And I went to go get my mom a pop. <clears throat> and there was a girl out there. And she was like, excuse me, excuse me. Oh, pump nine don't work and I'm trying to pump my gas. Could you tell the man in the store that pump number one doesn't work? And I did to her. Shook my head, nodded my head like that. Was basically saying like, sure, of course. I will um tell him about um the pump not working. I didn't say that to her, but I nodded my head to let her know, sure. Y'all, do you know this girl got mad at me and started calling me every name but a child of God? I'm not even kidding. I'm not even making it up. She was like, oh, I know this stupid bitch heard me. Now, what I should do is run you over with my motherfucking car. I should run your ass over with my car. Because you know you heard what I said. And you ain't going to even respond to me. Y'all, I looked at her and turned around and shook my head and went on about my business. I got home and told my mom about it. And she was like, Rita, you a good one because it couldn't have been me. We would have been outside fighting. We would have been outside fighting. I would have had some choice word with her. I probably would have told her, fuck you, and we would have gotten into a fight. Couldn't be me, you a good one. But she said, no, 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 no. I taught you right because you don't have to respond to everything that a person say. You did right about walking away because all fights to me, sometimes I feel you can get into a situation and argue back with somebody and it can come off even worse than what it shouldn't have been. Now, me 10 years ago, she had to say that shit to me. Yeah, we would have been out there fighting. Yeah, we would have been out there scrapping. Yeah, somebody probably would have went to jail. And I just told my mom, I was like, I don't care about that. She was like, I know I can tell you to have really grown up because it couldn't be me. Now, my mama has a quick temper my sister have a quick temper. My brother had a quick temper, but me, nah, not so much. But what I'm saying, my sister and my brother still have quick tempers. Me, I try to get down to the bottom of a situation. I try to talk to you as an adult. I will come to you as an adult and talk to you. And try to find out what's the situation or what's wrong. Because that's what you're supposed to do. Everything don't have to end up in a fight or end up into an argument. A lot of things can be solved if people would just take their time and be an adult. Put on your grown panties and talk about a situation. If it can be talked about. Now, if you got an ignorant motherfucker that just want to be ignorant for no reason and looking for a fight... Then they're going to get knocked flat on their ass. That's usually how that works. But moral of the story. Just because somebody do something to you. And be mean to you and be petty. That don't mean you have to do it to them. Because, sorry y'all. I done had so much things happen to me bad. To the point. That it could have mentally fucked me up in the head. But what people get to me stop me from being nice and humble. You see where, where I'm going and what I'm saying about that? I don't let that stop me and I don't let people change me because they out here being bullish. I still stay true to myself and be the person that I am. It took me the long time to get where I'm at and growth. And everything that I don't result back into my old ways. Now, don't get me wrong. I have moments like everybody do, but it's so far in between. Y'all, 
Tell them God bless them. Go on by your saying. Grow up. Be patient. Be kind to others. And just be humble and do you. That's all I'm saying. So, guys, that's all I have for this video. Like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notifications bell button. Until then, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.